Hey friends, welcome back to our channel, or if you're new here, I'm Alyssa. I'm Garrett. And we're the Leffersons, and today we have a pin-related video for you guys. And if you've ever thought to yourself, man, I have way too many pins and I don't know where to put them, and they're just kind of taking over every inch of your house and on every sort of flat surface, well, this video is for you because we ran into that same problem. Yes. And we found a solution. Exactly. So not only are we going to show you how we display and store our pins, we also have a super fun giveaway, like an amazing giveaway for you. That's going to be at the end of this video. So, so if you want this for yourself, yes, yes, what she said. <laughs> continue to watch, and we'll show you the items and how to enter and all that fun stuff. If you're new here, we live in an apartment, so we don't have a lot of room. Obviously, we don't have a ton of room, so we have to find a way to store our pin addiction, and <laughs> basically. We, and we tried, you know, storing them on these. These are little trivets that we picked up at. Ikea. Ikea. Uh, we've tried uh, cork boards, but they just never held right. And then they and get the all ugly. And the problem is, is that they fall off too. Yes. We've purchased like the little cheapo cork boards mm -hmm. from like the dollar section at Target, which are fine for like a little bit, but they just, they don't stick on, they don't stay on. They always fall off. And if you're saying Garrett, Alyssa, you should just have less pins. You can exit this video now because uh, you if know. you're watching this video, you probably have the same problem that we do: is that we just continue to buy more pins. Yeah, and it's okay. But it's a fine. while ago, we stumbled upon this brand, and Alyssa was like, "I bought this," and I was like, "What is it called?" And she's like, "A pin folio," and I'm like, "Oh, we're those pin people now," <laughs> and we are, and we have a ton of pin folios now. And if you're saying, "What is a pin folio?" Alyssa. So a pin folio, I'm just going to show you, I'll show you. Where's the, the baby one? I'll show you the original. Uh, this is actually the first one I think mm -hmm. that we ever purchased. And it is just a very simple, basically a storage area for you to store your pins. Now the pin folio is from the brand Go Pin Pro. Yes. Go Pin Pro. Actually, that says Pinfolio. Yes. Just kidding. <laughs> I thought it said Go Pin Pro. No. It doesn't. It says Pinfolio. But it is from the brand Go Pin Pro. Yes. The people who created Go Pin Pro created this when they were literally children. <laughs> 13, 11, and 8. Yes. So um, that's amazing. You guys are awesome. And we actually met uh, the girls at the parks with their mom. And it yeah. was just so wonderful to it meet them. It was awesome. And kind of geek out about pins for a second. Exactly. And uh, they said that they were looking for a way to transport pins safely but also store them we use them to store uh, we don't transport them many places no I mean we do bring this actually mm -hmm. this is why this was the first thing that we purchased we actually bring this on every Disney trip because this actually has some of our traders in it so if you open it up it has obviously a bunch of our trading pins in here and it also has this really nice like felty soft velvety thing in the middle Any more adjectives? <laughs> it's basically meant to protect the pins from scratching each other so this was the first one that we purchased and what's really cool about these is you don't need pin backs they're not no. we, we tried some where the pins go through and then the pin backs would fall off and the pins would work themselves off and the pins don't fall off like if you just hold them upside down you can really whoa <laughs> you can really be kind of crazy with them violent and they're not going to fall out which is one of the greatest things about pin folios so this was the first one that we ever put purchase this is just called the pinfolio classic and it just holds you know a decent amount of pins it's enough for us to bring our traders to the park it also has this little mesh container you can put little pin backs in there if you or need to backer cards yeah the backer cards whatever and it has a little little strap here if you want to use it you can you know put it over you like this and walk around the parks with it. But yeah, this was the first thing that we ever purchased from Go Pin Pro, and we Things kind of have been sold up from ever there. since. <laughs> yeah. Ever since then, we have been in love with Go Pin Pro and the pin folios because mm -hmm. it's a great way to organize and store and protect your pins where they're not just floating around. Yes. But we are not just going to talk about d storing. We are also going to talk about how we display them, but we'll get to that later on in the video. We do want to show you how we store our big collections. They are much bigger than the actual <laughs> Pinfolio Classic. Did you know that when you fill up essentially a two inch binder with pins, it gets pretty heavy. It is very this heavy. is 
the Pinfolio Pro, right? Yes. With stick and go technology. So mm -hmm. that may sound like weird, but mm -hmm. it's real, I promise. So it is a, it kind of looks like a laptop case. Yeah, like a briefcase, exactly. And it unzips. Did you hear it? <laughs> and on the inside is, uh, Pins. A lot of our pins. Now, Alyssa, what makes this stick and go tech like solid? Literally just exactly for what I told you, you could throw this across the room and none of these pins are going to fall out. And they protect the pins. And if you look real close, the pages are like felted. Yes. And it helps hide the holes whenever you take the pins off. Exactly. We have the original pages where you do see the holes, but they have created these pages where you can constantly take them out and you don't see the holes anymore, which is awesome. And in between each page is again, one of those little, little plastic, plastic dividers. protectors. Yep. So as you can see, we've got some princess collections in this binder. You can fit a ton of pins in here. Obviously we have a little bit of room to grow, but this is where all of our princess collections are. And let's see how many, there's five pages in here. Mm -hmm. Five front pages and, back. and front and back. You can put them front and back, yes. So one thing that I like about these products is they're thoughtfully designed for like pen people. Mm -hmm. With all these pins come pen backs and right on the front page or right inside the front cover there is a pouch where you can store all of those pin backs, those uh, pin back cards. Mm -hmm. And then on the front they have another zippered little pocket there. Oh, and they've got it on the back. Too. And on the back. We got and they have uh, some shoulder, shoulder straps. If you're like super serious, going to a pin trading event, never been to one, seen like YouTube videos of it, but this is the way to go. People bring these big things to the parks and also trade. Like I know that they do some pin trading on certain times of the day or certain times of the week in Epcot and stuff like that. So you will see people bringing these big bags. That, that's and, not our thing, but. <laughs> and I feel like this has, like the outside is sturdy. Like I don't yes. feel like it's gonna rip. It's not no. going, you could kind of. It's very heavy. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, been through a lot. And we actually have two of these. So we have two of these, they are full. And we have more than that too. Let's show you a different kind of pinfolio. Okay. That is also big and it sh it does hold pretty much just as much as that. The next one is the Pinfolio Pro Show. What makes it show, Alyssa? Well, because on the front you can show some of your pin collection. So here, I did take off some pins to put on a board, but it's fine. I have some really cool pins just here on the front. You can display your favorite prints, you can display your favorite collections, and you can switch it out and display different ones all the time and people are able to see them. What makes this Pinfolio even better besides just the front where you can show is it has shoulder straps like a backpack. So yep. you could be like super pinned out, walk around with this showing back there <laughs> and have all of these pins at the ready to uh, trade to your heart's content. Now this is a slightly older design mm -hmm. uh, from Pin Pro. Because the pages, you can see that you can see like some of the holes from where we did have pins. I mean, honestly, I don't really care about that. We're storing <laughs> you know what it. I mean? We're storing them anyways, but it just gives you a nice little, you know, well, area to store. And they still have that stick and go technology. It still is not going to fall off. No. Which is awesome. But also the the format of this, as you can see, it's like a three ring binder. Yes. Which, whereas the other one that I first showed, it's sewed into the binding, so. Which actually, this is really nice because I think this came with maybe one less. Okay. I don't remember expanded. how many this came with, but I was able to actually add another one on because you can just purchase these pages separately. Mm -hmm. So if you want to just have three of these in the binder, or if you want to have five of these in the binder, and this you can five. basically just add them as you go or take them out and kind of display them a different way. But yeah, we love these Pinfolio Pro Shows. We actually have two of these Pinfolio Pro Shows as well. So we have four altogether of these big Pinfolio Pros, <gasps> all filled with pins, and we're already kind of running out of room. <laughs> we have a little bit of room, but... <laughs> we're running out of room. I do wanna show you one more thing. Okay. If you are looking to just display a few pins, mm. and you want to just walk around the park and show a few pins of your collection, there's another fun item that GoPin Pro has. This is the XO Show Purse. It is literally a purse. It's also a crossbody, or you can use it just like this on your shoulder. And as you can see on the front, 
it has kind of that show thing where you can display some pins in your collection. So as you can see, I got some of my Chippendale pins here, but you could also put traders here too. Yeah. You are welcome to put traders. It is just open on the inside. It's just like a regular crossbody purse. Yeah. And on the back there, it has a little pin folio on it. I know, it. it's so cute. So this is super cute. You can use it as an actual purse, which yeah. is nice. You could just use this to store all of your things for the park day and you can also show your pins. And I've seen more and more of these at the parks. I know. Like, as we're standing in queue, there's less lanyards on people because pin trading is slower now. It's ca the cast members don't have pins on them. Right. So there's a lot more people showing off. So yes. Alyssa and I were like, <gasps> look at their look pin at collection. Yeah. <laughs> so, you get to know people very well by looking at their pin collections. And like pin people <laughs> give each other like the nod, like, yes, I got yes. you. So because we love GoPin Pro so much and the ladies, the whole family there knows yep. it, they offered to send us some of their new products and in the mail. To celebrate their fifth anniversary of yes. business, which yes. is awesome. Congratulations. Yes. You guys are awesome. Okay, so the first thing they sent us was this little bubble mailer with some little goodies in there. So in here, there is a little pouch. Ooh. And there's also a little sticker with them as well that says, thank you for celebrating with us. And we got two little pins in Inside of their pe pens, not pens. pins. We will include some of these little trinkets in the giveaway as well. There's also two sets of this pin in here, which just says pin trading with Go Pin Pro, which I feel like is the only way to trade. <laughs> <laughs> so this is one of the items that will be in the giveaway as well. Another thing they sent along was this pin folio uh, flashlight. So you push on the bottom. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry. Oh, that's really bright. Sorry. <laughs> and then I was trying to figure out this is a oh, magnifying glass. Yeah. And I'm like, why would you need a magnifying glass? Pins are very detailed. You yep. might need to really look at them close up, Duh. especially if there's like any imperfections in the pin or anything like that. That's so, a good idea. Yeah, I just put all that together. I'm, I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> So let's get to the bigger items. Ooh, I don't know how big you want to go. They sent us the new new. The new new. And kind of something that I was dreaming about for a long time. To yes, be it's really funny. You actually messaged them like yeah. a few months ago. Oh gosh, that was over a year ago. No, what wasn't over yeah, a year ago? Yeah. Oh my goodness. When we first started getting to pit, like we really got serious about pins. I was like, I'm gonna message them. So Garrett was looking for this item then a year ago. Yep. And they were like, We don't we don't have it made yet but it's kind of in the works. And so they decided to send us one. And it's a lot better than I expected. And this is a way to display your pin collection. This is not included in the giveaway, but Ooh. this is something that you are able to purchase on their website. Of course, we'll leave all their information down below. Hold on, it's it's so big, I gotta, I gotta it swing around. It is so big. If you pay close attention inside of the, uh, the thumbnail, it is this. This is their new, it's a two feet by two feet, Pinfolio bulletin board called their Pinspiration Pin Board. And it even comes with the tracks if you want to hang it up on the wall. That's a it stick and fits, go. it's a stick and go technology. It fits obviously a ton of pins. This is actually our entire Winnie the Pooh collection. <laughs> I was able to fit all of our Winnie the Pooh pins on here, which is awesome, with a little bit of room to spare. So if you can see, you can fit a ton of pins on here and you can display them any way that you want. And this the, is amazing. And in the bottom right, it has the branding there. Yes, it does say Pinfolio. It's kind of hard to see because I've already <laughs> put a ton of pins on here. I did take a little video, I think, of it originally without the um, pins on there. But yeah, this is basically what it looks like. You could probably put pins on the back too oh, if you really wanted to. But if you just want to display this on a wall, obviously you would only see one side. So this is an awesome way to display your pins Ugh. and to display them safely. They're not going to fall off. This is awesome. We're I, so excited about this. <laughs> I'm so excited to have a home because I'm gonna get more of these. I'm gonna build a system <laughs> where, you know, like at the at the store, I remember back in the store they had movie posters and you could yes. like turn them. I wanna do that, but just instead of posters, it's just thousands of pins. So eventually when we have a home and a little bit more room, we are definitely going to be buying more of those and displaying our collections more. It's just gonna be so much nicer to be able to see our pin collections all the time. Would you, I, I love DIY like makers on YouTube. I love watching that. Like, is there a market for the intersection of Disney and like DIY makers? Like, is there is there a market for it? Cause- I mean, you're the market for it. <laughs> 
I'll make my own videos then. I'm, I'm gonna make my own channel. So that is available on their website. It's two feet by two feet. You can it's fit their brand new bulleted board. A whole amazing. bundle of pins. So we have some giveaway items as well. They sent us some items that we are going to give away to one of you guys. And you seriously, if you are a pin collector, you really don't want to miss out on this no. giveaway. The first thing that we are giving away is one of their brand new show and stow pin folios. So this is has the front, which is this wonderful green, like would be good for like a Tinkerbell collection oh my God, or yeah. Tiana even. Oh my gosh, yeah, I love that. And uh, how you get in there. For, like we Animal Kingdom. Yeah. So this is not only like a pin folio pro show, but there's also the stow option because there's a pouch in here that you can just stow anything else. It's kind of got like a backpack sort of thing to it. So the second zipper is literally just a big open area and you can really put anything in here. Like if you are bringing this to the parks and you want to sh put your park essentials in here, your sunscreen, your whatever else, it will fit in this and it'll fit right here in this area. And pins are kind of expensive. So you could just put like piles of cash in here <laughs> if you need to buy yeah. any. <laughs> piles of credit cards, you know, whatever you need to do. Or gift cards. <laughs> oh, and something that I like on the side. Oh, yeah. Something that I like on the side is that it does have like a water bottle holder, like a normal backpack would. Because trading pins is thirsty business. <laughs> and then all the way in. All the way on the back, you have these pinfolio pages and there are three of them back here. So you can still store your pins in the back. So and this is just really, really more. cool. I know. I and feel you like you expand. could fit probably, what, two more? Yeah, you could probably fit two more in there, especially if you don't have like anything in this area, anything in the stow area. But this is awesome. It does fit like a backpack because it's got the backpack as well. The show and stow. How cool is that? You guys have the opportunity to win this if you enter the giveaway. But that's not all, folks. That is not all. We are also giving away the new Pinfolio Hipster. hey -oh. Which if you're wondering what a hipster is, fits on your hip, kind of like a fanny pack. And again, it does have this front compartment where you can show off some of your display of pins and you do just unzip it and you can literally take this out and put your pins on there and then put it back in. And then if you open up the other zipper compartment, there is a little storage area with the straps for it. There's a little storage area. I love the print know, inside right? too. That's so little cute. Keys. There's little like peas in there and you've got a zippered compartment. You've got this little compartment right here. So it does really just go like a fanny pack or if you want it to be a crossbody, it has it be a crossbody. this handy dandy little chained thing mm -hmm. and let me clip this side. And then this is how the fanny pack goes, is there's little loops on the back yep, there. Yeah, there's straps on the back. And you slide this through and you just uh, fanny it. Yeah, so you can either wear it like this on your hip, I'm too short to show you, or you can wrap it around like this and use it as a crossbody and still display your pins. So basically we are giving away something that you could use at the parks to display some of your pins and a way to store your pins. Yup. How awesome is that? And we do want to thank Go Pin Pro for, you know, sponsoring this yeah. giveaway, I guess we should say. <laughs> they did send us these items to yep. give away. So and we have spent our own money on pin folios. Like oh, let's yes. not let's not We've spent a kid. lot of money. <laughs> yeah, like we we believe in this product, honestly. Yes. And they are literally the only pin storage that we have. We yeah. don't have any other brands that no. we use. That's only, we've only used Go Pin Pro this entire time and we swear by it. It's just been so, they've been so amazing. So Alyssa, how can people enter to win this stuff? In order to win these two items, you have to be subscribed to our YouTube channel and publicly, publicly subscribed. Yes, we have to be able to see it publicly. You need to like this video, leave a comment down below with what is your biggest pin collection? We are dying to know what's your biggest pin collection. Our biggest pin collection is probably Winnie the Pin. Yeah, easily. Or maybe up is a sec mm. is a close second. Yeah. 
And then you also, that's not all, we also want you to go over to Go Pin Pro. They also have a YouTube channel. Go subscribe to them as well. So we will put the rules and everything down below. This giveaway is going to run until next Thursday. So it'll go for a full week. Next Thursday, March 17th. And it will go until midnight that night. So basically the time that it hits, or I guess 11.59 p.m. is when it will end. The time that it hits March 18th, the giveaway is over. We will announce the giveaway winner on our Instagram that weekend, which is also another way that you can win. And if you didn't know, our Instagram is uh, The Leffersons. Yes. So there will be another way if you want additional entries, you'll have to go over to our Instagram. There will be a post on there with a picture of these items with more ways to enter. So if you really want to win, there are going to be multiple ways to enter this giveaway. And if you just can't wait, we will have a link down below to send you to Go Pin Pro to check out everything else yes. they have. And yes. please support them. They're a wonderful little company and uh, yep. they made a quality product for us pin nerds out there. Exactly. And again, we would not be putting out this video if we did not 100% believe in this product. They have been incredible. We have been using them ever since we started collecting pins like yep. five or six years ago. Yep. So again, we'll leave all their information in the description as well as how to enter the giveaway. And thank you again to Go Pin Pro for sponsoring, yes. I guess, this video and uh, uh, giving us the opportunity to share some of the love with all of you. Exactly. Thank you guys so much. Happy five year anniversary, you girls and guys are amazing. We love you so much. And I guess that's it for today's video. Yep. So if you enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up. Do all of the things yep. that you need to do to enter the giveaway. Subscribe for more Disney content. We've got our Disneyland vlogs coming out right now. So if that tickles your fancy too, then definitely subscribe. And that is it for today's video. So we will see you all real soon. Bye guys. See you later. Tickle, 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 tickle. Tick tickling their fancy. Oh, okay.